So I'm here with Tobas uh, Lindholm, Lindholm um, filmmaker for uh, Hijacking, which was, which just premiered at Venice and to rave reviews. And uh, now you're in Toronto. Um, you penned Sabarino and the surprise Cannes entry of The Hunt, which uh, which many say that uh, is Vintour's best film since the celebration. So congratulations on a, a great 48 months. There's many ways that this film could have been filmed the wrong way and uh, names that come to mind is Tony Scott and Paul Greengrass they would have taken this film and made junk out of it. I personally haven't felt this much tension on the high seas since Das Boot so congratulations on that but also it's a great drama that's on water but it's also in the conference room as well so first I'd like to know the why did you choose this as a subject Somali pirates in the headlines is a, is a common thing but uh, what's the genesis of the film and and what was the most difficult to authenticate in terms of maybe the high seas or or the, the, the conference room back and forth? What, what, what was the... Well, I think the, the whole idea came from before I was born, my father was a sailor. And I, I mean, Denmark has a big commercial fleet with 10% of, of, of all the, 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 the cargo being sailed around is out of Denmark. Okay, so it's... So there's a big tradition uh -huh. of, 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 of seamanship. Um, so I was trying to find a story where I could put in that arena, guys on a boat. I mean, for me to be out there in the elements is so, uh, would be such a great place to tell a story. I just didn't have the story. So seven years ago, I started to read about these Somali pirates. And I was like, wow, how's this working out? Um, I never really got into it, but just started to read about it and follow the processes of, of the hijackings that I could find out there. Okay. Um, and then three years ago, I saw a documentary about a CEO. Um, negotiating with the pirates. Okay. And I feel like, well, if that documentary also had been on the ship, it would have been totally perfect. Uh -huh. So that kind of bought the idea. That was your in ways into this, the, the story. So you first started off with the, the boardroom aspect, but you had this, you had this obviously affinity with, with cargoes and shit. Exactly. That, I mean, that scene. Seven guys on a boat in 50 degrees, something will happen at some point, some point. We'll forget yes. Um, so, so that was the way into it.